Hi everyone, I'm delighted to share with you today my book, Indie Alphabet. This was published by Bharat Babies when it was Bharat Babies. Um, and it, it takes us on a journey, a really fun journey um, from, um, from the north to the south, to the east and the west, all over India, where we discover new places in the country and we discover them on a magic bus. So um, let me go ahead and start without further ado. Um, the first page starts with this little poem which says, Hop onto the alphabet bus and explore India with me. We'll visit cities near and far and we'll travel from A to Z. And you see the magic bus, I think you do, on the video. So we're going to be traveling now. I won't uh, interrupt as I read. I'm going to read and take you through the, through the book and through the letters of the alphabet. We're going to travel through India, as I said. A takes us to Ahmedabad, a colorful Western state. Here on the banks of Sabarmati, Gandhiji's ashram awaits. At the bottom of every page, there are fun facts that you can explore. Um, and I'm not going to read those to you right now, but I, as I said, I'm going to read you the entire poem. But just wanted to let you know that the text you see at the bottom of each page are fun facts about the place and places, and, 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 and they point you to information that you can then research or look up or, um, or hear about um, from your parent or teacher or friends or Google on your own. Um, so as I've said about this book, it takes you through a journey through India, but it's much more than just an alphabet book or a picture book. It's a book that allows you to learn poetry in the four lines of verse, um, history in its fun facts, and geography in the places we visit. B is, brings us to Bangaluru, the sprawling city of high tech. The weather is good, inventions are too, but traffic is so bottleneck. <sighs> C calls us to southern Chennai, where beaches are sandy and bright. Dance and song fill festival halls, and temple bells ring through the night. D for New Delhi, capital city, rich with history like the old Red Fort. Here we can see the Grand India Gate, and Jama Masjid with its spacious court. E is for Etava in Uttar Pradesh, where we will next make our stop. Near river banks of Chambal and Yamuna, cargo trains transport farmers' crops. F brings us to Faridabad with its factories and crowded streets. People work hard in this Haryana town and the town markets are full of sweet treats. G is for Gaia place of stories and myth, with old buildings and narrow lanes. We can visit where Gautama Buddha taught or learn of great King Rama's reign. H is home to Hyderabad and tall minarets of Charminar. To sample the scrumptious biryani, tourists come from near and far. I is for Indore in Madhya Pradesh. Many languages are spoken in town. The summers here are scorching hot. Everyone has the same meltdown. J is for Jaipur, the famous pink city, a dry desert where camels roam. Study the stars at the Jantar Mantar and gaze at the palace's dome. K is for Kolkata, Bengali city, of sweet sandesh and melodious songs. We stop at Victoria Memorial, then look at Howrah Bridge, so very long. L is for Lucknow, a cultural city, with the grand roomy gate 60 feet tall. In this great place of poetry and music, the noble Nawabs once ruled over all. H 
M is for Mumbai, so vast, so crowded, a metro that doesn't slow down. For Bollywood movies, fashion and food, this city is of great renown. N is for Nagpur. N takes us to Nagpur, where orange trees abound. But wild orange tigers are not so easily found. Don't you just love the size of this book? It's so much easier to show the pictures. O transports us to Ongole, where the Andhra cattle come from. Their milk is sweet, their bulls are strong, and their hide is taut as a drum. P puts us in famed Puri, with the longest golden beach, the Konarak temple beckons, and historians come to teach. Did you see where the magic bus is showing us where Puri is on the map? Q is for Koilandi in Kerala state, the place with the swaying palm trees. The fishermen here are a jovial group as they take their boats to the sea. R is for Rajkot, a place of cyclones that blow and bluster every year. Gujarat's monsoon rains and storms will wash dusty pavements clear. S takes us to Srinagar. Scenic gardens, lakes, houseboats. Stop to enjoy this magical place and see graceful shikaras afloat. T is for Tura in Meghalaya, or Meghalaya as some people say, the eastern state of great mystique. Our bus has come to the abode of clouds, the valley below a high peak. U is for Ujjain, city of temples, a sacred spot to visit. In this place where the Lord Krishna studied, tourists pour in every minute. What's next? V for Vishakapatnam or Vizag, the British called it so. In this old city of seaports and steel, the rusty shipyard glows. And W is for Varangal. W takes us to Varangal's fort and the city's massive stone gateways. Telugu is spoken in this town where Mughal Aurangzeb used to stay. Can you see that? Okay. X sounds like exit, but let's keep going. Our journey still has its allure. This country is vast, its geography great, and we have two more letters to tour. So where's Y? Y is for Yanam, once a French city. Let me show you that properly. A small district on the Bengal Bay. People here used to speak the French tongue, but it's mostly Telugu today. Yanam was a French colony about 300 years ago. And finally we come to the last letter of the alphabet, Z. Z brings us to Zirakpur, where we make our final stop. We've seen buildings and temples, sandy beaches and rivers, and I'm just about to drop. Did you enjoy that journey through India? Indie alphabet? Published by Bharat Babies, which is now Mango and Marigold Press. And it's part of our art series. And it says, come and travel India with us. I hope you enjoyed this book. And I hope you will pick it up from your library or from the bookstore or from Mar mangoandmarigold.com. I thoroughly enjoyed writing this book and reading it to all of you. 
Until next time, this is Shoba.